So guys, what's going on? It's Curtis here, back again with a brand new video on this channel. Another match day vlog back at the Swansea Topcom Stadium. And oh my word, it's the big one. South Wales Derby, Cardiff City home. And we've got to get that revenge from earlier this season where we lost 2 0 thanks to goals from Ollie Tanner and Aaron Ramsey. And Cardiff can do the double on us for the very first time in history, which came after we beat them two, four times in a row and doing the double twice. Like Cardiff at the moment on red hot form, four wins on a bounce, five unbeaten while we're winless in our last two. And Bristol City last week, it was absolutely shocking performance out there. And we didn't have a single shot on target. We hardly created chances. Players got booed a full time in, in the end. Even I booed a bit. But at the same time, I might have had a little tiny overreaction. But at the same time, though, the players deserved the criticism that day. If you play poor, you deserve criticism. And Nathan Wood had a dig at the fans as well, at full time as well, which pretty much summed it up. But everyone on that pitch today and Luke Williams have to be absolutely up for it today. We've got to put on a show and get back to winning ways before the March international break. I take a draw personally, but a win would be better. Come on, Swans, into them. Don't let me down. So the team is out now and we've made one change for the Bristol City loss. So Harry Darling comes with Ben Kabanga. Ben Kabanga's not in the squad at all, so it's interesting where he is. Um, other than that, we've got Russell from goal, time at left back, Norton right back, Darling and Wood in centre back. Centre mid, we've got Matt Grimes and Joe Allen in there, Jimmy Parson the attacking midfielder. Two wingers of Premier Shaw for Shater and Ronald and Liam Cullen leading the line. For Cardiff, on the other hand, um, they've made an unchanged side to the Ipswich Town win and Aaron Ramsey is also on the bench as well for them so yes typical timing that he's back in time to play us I mean he's on the bench he might not might be used might not be used but yeah we've got to be careful of Carl for the way they're playing at the minute but we've got to put up a show because if we don't turn up we're asking for trouble as long as they don't do the double on us I'll be fine just don't lose please And we're away. Come on, Swans! Come on. Uh, Come on! Come on! Come on! On the box. Go on. No! Come on. Oh, terrible. Go on. Oh! Half-time, Swansea lock on same Swansea 1, Cardiff City nil. Liam Cullen, goal the difference. Been a very feisty game here, so it sort of smells the red card as well. I'm not, I don't sound salty, but Yaku Mete shouldn't be on the pitch for Cardiff. Because, after pushing over Harry Darling, I kind of think he was a bit dodgy from doing that. And then he did the same again later on, while Harry Darling was running with possession. So, yeah, so far so good first half. I just hope, knowing us, we don't fall in the second half. We can't afford to do that. Just don't risk the 1-0.
we got to get a second goal. we got to be up for it for the second half now. Just don't fall asleep like we've been doing the last few weeks. Just don't. Our right, second half now, Carl made two changes. Ruben Colwell and Callum O'Dowd have come off a Yaku Mate, who shouldn't have really been on the pitch in the first place, and David Turnbull. Liam Cullen to take it. Come on, Liam, for his brace. Come on. Liam Cullen against Ethan Horvath. Leonardo! Oh, terrible. Looks like we've been forced to make our first change. Josh Key coming off the panel and oh, that penalty from Liam Cullen could not potentially cost us. Hard to set to make another change now, and it's only time. Triple substitutions that we made by Tom's Ollie Cooper, Jay Fulton, and Jamal Lowe set to come on. And Carl have made their last window change now, where Aaron Ramsey comes on for Manless Siopis. Oh, good looking free kick position here, and Carl have set to make another substitution, but Famara Jeju is set to come on. We need to get a second goal by the looks of it. Being a bit more quieter than we are. First half is like the usual weeks. We need to get a second goal to kill it off. Come on. Yes! Oh! Oh, what are we doing? Ruben Colwell. Stop giving him room, for God's sake. Oh, look at the room we've given Ryan Wintel. Get out! Get out, bud! Come on! We've got a pretty bottle if we don't, don't charge. Wintel, back in the box. Well, five minutes left of inside. We could do this, and Charlie Patino is set to come on as well. We've been slightly sitting back, which worries me, so hopefully we can get over the line. City nil. Sweet revenge in a derby and oh my word, I didn't expect that. Considering our form, Cardiff's form, this is what the championship is all about and this is how much it means to me and to everyone in our club, that win. Absolutely incredible there. We turned up for the whole 90 minutes later. A few sloppy more in the second half but unreal performance. Cardiff hardly in it at all really. So yeah, that was an important victory as well. And a three o'clock kickoff will start to kick off soon, and hopefully most of the bottom teams lose, and then hope and hopefully that will mean uh, another win or two puts us fine and dry for the championship next season. But boy, what a win that was! Everyone superb out there. Shame Liam Cullen missed a penalty, but we got the two 0 win in the end. Jamal Lowe coming back to haunt Cardiff yet again. He haunted Cardiff in 2020, and he's haunted them again with by finishing them all off. And also Liam Cullen haunted them as well again after last season where he scored in a 3-2. But yeah, I'm proud of every single Swansea City player out there today. Absolutely superb. And if you want to see more content, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications and yeah, see you soon. Peace.